fashion is pretty cool, but how do you step it up without breaking the bank? If you want to know that answer, stay till the end of the video. Hey, welcome to Mixology Flair, where we share tips and tricks from behind the bar. I'm Shay, and today I want to share with you one of my favorite cocktail hacks for the old fashioned. If you love whiskey and you like the old fashioned every once in a while, and you haven't seen our other video on the old fashioned, it's right up here. Go check it out after watching this video because we really deep dive into the different kinds of sugars that you can use, bitters, whiskey, and even the ice. Yeah, the ice, it's super important. And you should also check out our ice video on how to make clear ice at home. It's really great. But if you want to take your old fashioned to the next level, try a smoked old fashioned. But you don't want to break the bank, right? Try these two simple tricks. Making a smoked old fashioned, you don't want to change anything about the old fashioned that you're already making, except for one thing. You need a smoker. Yo, who's our munchies tonight, yo? Not me. But start with a sugar cube, four to five dashes of Angostura bitters. Break up that sugar cube. You want to get it down into a paste. Some people like it, but I don't like chunks of sugar at the bottom of my glass, so make sure it's already into a paste. Take your favorite whiskey. I'm trying out this new Hudson whiskey. It's a four part harmony, seven years. Add some ice and stir. You're gonna to wanna to stir for about 30 seconds, but I always like to say 30 to the right, 30 to the left, you're good to go. Look, I've had a lot of people ask me, how much ice should I put in there? You wanna fill the mixing glass all the way up with ice because you wanna chill it down as fast as possible with minimal dilution. Contrary to popular belief, if you just have a few pieces of ice in there, it's gonna dilute and melt like that. Get yourself a fancy glass or a red Solo cup, whatever you got. And if you have class, use a big rock, a big piece of clear ice. All right, for all you trolls out there, it's clear. Now pour. Your favorite garnish. Now you know, all the oils are on the outside of the skin, so press down into the cocktail. You wanna put all the oils right on top of the drink, so when you lift it to your face, you really smell that citrus aroma. Squeeze, twist, now rub the oils right on the outside of the glass. You can just use an orange peel. I personally like the lemon and the orange peel together. That's just kinda how I like it. Do it however you want. Set that off to the side. To make a smoked old fashioned, you need one of these. This is the Craft House by Fortessa smoking box. One of my favorite, my all time favorite bar tools to take to our events. I love this thing. It's a great hack to really step up your old fashioned. It already comes with a couple different types of wood chips that you can smoke in the smoking box, uh, like hickory, mesquite, and applewood smoking chips. You wanna place the cocktail right inside the chamber and close the door. Take a hefty pinch of wood chips. You can light the wood chips with a match. Hold it on for a second to light the wood chips, but you don't wanna leave it on. Isn't that cool? You only need about 10 or 15 seconds. If you leave it in any longer, it's just gonna create more of a smoky effect to your drink. So it's really up to your personal preference. Ready? And that's your smoked. <laughs> You're smoked old fashioned. All right, since you asked, I'll give it a taste. <coughs> Look, let me be honest with you. This is not a cheap toy. It's a great toy, but it's not a cheap toy. This is gonna run you back $299 on Amazon. You might be able to get it for $279 if it's on special, but normally it's 300 bucks. But I love it, I have two. All my friends love it, my clients, they love it. It's a great addition to the home bar, but it's not cheap and it's glass, so it can break. But guess what? I'm gonna give one away to one of you guys, one of the Mixology Flared subscribers. So to enter the giveaway, I'm gonna leave the giveaway up for two weeks from the date of this video. So all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and comment letter by letter MFU in the comments down below. And in two weeks, we're gonna pick a subscriber and it's gonna win a smoking box and we're gonna ship it out to you. You have to be a US resident because we're not, we can't ship internationally. But if you're a subscriber to the channel, Comment down below and we're gonna give one of these away to one of you. But if you don't wanna spend $300 on a cool gadget like this for your bar, I got a cocktail hack for you. Now if you wanna make a smoked old fashioned on a budget, grab your favorite whiskey, run down to your hardware store, like Lowe's or Home Depot, and get a piece of cedar. 
These are like $3, just the same as your other old fashioned. You wanna grab a mixing glass, a sugar cube. This is mixology flared. We wouldn't be proper if we made an old fashioned without any flair, right? Four to five dashes of bitters. Muddle it to a paste. Two ounces of your favorite whiskey. Put your phone on airplane mode, Shay. Two ounces of your favorite bourbon, whiskey, or rye. Give it a quick stir. Now since the cocktail is already stirred and cold, here's the trick. Take your torch, 10 bucks, torch the cedar, grab your glass, get that flame going. Grab your ice, now you can pour. Now all you gotta do is garnish. A little lemon zest. And a little orange zest. That's how I like it. That just smoked old fashioned. Oh yeah, it's so good. Hey, thanks to Hudson Whiskey for sending me this free bottle to try. It's really good, go pick one up if you wanna try something new, this is great. And to your smoked old fashioned, if you wanna step up your old fashions, try the smoked old fashioned like this, the smoking box. Don't be afraid to drop a comment down below and enter the giveaway. If you want more whiskey videos, check out this video right here. See you soon.